Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, did you ever want a lighter trigger, maybe like a custom trigger, but you know, you maybe don't know a gunsmith or you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. I'm going to show you a cheap and easy way that you can do it at home yourself. Literally for a couple bucks, it makes a world of difference. Uh, I did this with a lot of my guns. So one of the biggest examples is like this Sigma. This is a, uh, it came from the factory. These were terrible because they had like a, like literally a 12 pound trigger. So for $5, you get a couple different springs, take a different spring out. This is a striker fire. So we went from 12 pounds. Let's see. I think it's 6.61. So I literally cut in half, made a, the biggest difference for that gun. And then I think this Glock, it has from the factory, this is the 40, the G40. I think it comes with a, a 4.5. So let's try that real quick. Oh, that is a nice trigger, though. Yeah, close. And then, so what we're going to be doing today is my Smith & Wesson. I finally, I was like, you know what? I was shooting the other day. I was like, I need to change this up. So I got this for $10, okay? It's, uh, it says competition use only. So all it is is about three different springs there. So we're going to be swapping some springs. And I'll show you, I mean, these make the, the biggest difference in the world. Uh, and I'll show you how to do it on this gun. Every gun's a little bit different. That one was, it was easy, but it's got, you know, a bunch of little springs and stuff. It wasn't the easiest thing. So let's check this thing out. Just double check. Blow a hole in the kitchen. Wife would not like that. Okay, let's get it. I just cleaned the gun, it's a little oily. That ain't bad, 6.28. So I'm kind of curious to see how that, because I think it said it goes like three pound or something. So I'll get my stuff set up here and I will show you how to do it on this model if you're trying to do it on a different gun literally just look it up on youtube i'm sure 100 people there's probably a bunch of videos on this but this is just my take on it so let's get started okay i'm just gonna go over uh for my sake too because you gotta take on this one you gotta take it all apart but the part we're changing is there's a spring in here so on this kit it's, uh, we're just going, there's three different weights of springs. We're just going with the lightest one, of course. So take your gun all apart and then take your pin out there for your trigger, your pin out for this grip here. And everything's got to come out to get this spring out. So I'm going to do this together here. Which actually, I needed to clean this gun in the worst way, anyhow, because I never actually did have it apart. Yeah, so this is uh, your hammer spring here. We'll set that aside, and then we'll have to take this pin out here. Once we take this one out, everything is going to come out. But uh, let's see, I'm just going to clean this off. Like I said, if you guys don't want to see this, you can just skip to the end to see what the result is there. Okay, it's always good just to take kind of look over because like all these are going to come out here. All the, There's like three pieces of metal and your hammer is going to come out. So let's see, where's my punch? Gonna need some punches. Now I use a 50 BMG brass to my hammer. Because why not, right? All right. Here's this little guy. Looks important, huh? And then your hammer should come out the top. Well, right there is that. Okay, that's that spring right there that we're changing. 
it kind of yeets itself right out of there, huh? He said, I never did have this gun apart. Okay, there's the pieces coming out. That goes on the left side. There's the hammer. Oh yeah, she did clean this. Yeah, find the serial numbers on there for different guns that it goes to. Huh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat, man. Yep, and then this is the part that we need to bring out of the gun right back here. There she goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we got now we got ourselves a mess going on here, but that's all right. We'll get it back together. So this is a spring we're gonna be changing here. So see this beautiful fucking pool on there. He's so bitch get out of here. Okay, now that I got the factory spring off of here, there's a kind of like a little in, uh, indent there that kind of holds the, the spring on. This is the factory one. <clears throat> we did all that just to change the spring. That's what I mean, man. Like, these kits are great, but you got to know your gun and uh, have the patience to take it apart and uh, put it back together. Like I said, this gun, I had this gun forever. And she needed a deep cleaning anyhow. So I'm kind of glad I'm doing this. So we're just going to put this spring on there and then kaboom. So uh, I won't bore you guys with me struggling to put this gun back together because I had these like this type of gun part before. You just got to take your time and get everything in there just right. But I'm going to put it back together and then I will show you. Uh, this spring, it, there's like a little cavity it fits in there. So I'll get it back together and then I'll show you guys the results. And uh, hopefully the gun still works. <laughs> okay, finally got it all back together. Well, actually it wasn't that bad. I love these old guns just because like the machining and the way the parts fit and stuff. Man, you can't beat it, dude. It's just, I love old guns. They're really not old, old, but you know. Not new guns, so I tried it out. Everything works, and the trigger feels a hell of a lot better. So let's just see. Let me get you guys here. Ooh, I guess it feels like a ray break. Four pounds. Let's try it again. So what was it originally? Okay, I did a couple of this off camera because it's kind of hard to do that straight <clears throat> sitting down there and stuff. So I got between. Three and a half, top three to four, four and a half pound, right around there. And I just checked it was about, what, six and a half or something like that. So we cut it down, you know, four, four, four and a half pound trigger on a pistol. I mean, that's pretty good just for, you know, five bucks, ten bucks. So there it is. If you ever want a lighter trigger, and if you happen to have one of these guns, if you can help take it apart, clean it, put it back together, let me know. I could do, like, a more in-depth video putting it back together it's not too bad but so there it is i'll get out and try it and have some fun <laughs>